Hey everybody, this is Strategy Wizard again. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Alien Frontiers, designed by Tori Neiman and published by Game Salute. Now this is, I think, the fourth edition. It's the latest edition. I think it's fourth. I'm not 100% sure. But I have never played it before, but I've heard a lot of great things about it. And this, since this new edition came out, I thought, you know what? This may be a good time to give it a shot and see what's all, what it's all about. So let's pop this puppy open and see what's inside. Okay, we've got on the back a whole lot of stuff going on. It says Alien Frontiers is the award-winning game of resource management, dice placement, and area control set on the retro sci-fi world of Planet Maxwell. Deploy your fleet of dice and colonize the untamed planet by utilizing orbital facilities, discovering alien technology, and constructing colonies in strategic locations to stake your claim to this far-flung frontier. Two to four players, 60 to, not 60 to 90 minutes, and ages 14 plus. Oh, oh, hey baby, I love you. My wife decided to peek in and see what's going on behind the scenes, and I gotta admit, I think she's liking it. Okay. Hopefully she'll like the game too. That'd be nice. <laughs> I'll definitely. I'm sure she'll. Uh, I think she'll enjoy this one because she likes dice. So we've got the instruction booklet, which has components. Really nice looking instruction booklet. Good setup diagram. Okay. A lot of examples, which is good. Okay. Looking forward to reading that. Oh, the board is, as you can see, pretty. Thin thickly folded. This is probably going to be a pretty big board. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big. Pretty big. Okay, let's see. I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to get in here, but wow, that is a big board. It's just huge. Huge, huge, huge. One of the bigger boards I've played with for sure. Wow, a lot of stuff going on. It looks great, feels great, feels very sturdy. I like it a lot. And then we've got some tokens which seem hmm, th pretty thick, good quality, they punch out easily, I like that. Whatever this is, I don't know, but I like that too. Okay, so that's great. We've got four compartments here, we've got dice, I wonder how they feel, let's see. There's one little custom die here by itself. These dice feel maybe a little lightweight. They don't have rounded corners, but they are engraved, and overall they look pretty clean and look pretty good. So can't complain there. Nothing, nothing to sneeze at. This this little guy looks like it's going to be pretty similar in quality, but it's of course custom, and yeah, not bad. Feels about the same weight and everything, but it looks good and nice engraving. So I like that. Okay, we've got some bags of, ooh, interesting little cubes here, some translucent orange discs, little spaceships for, I guess, each player color. We've got a bunch of little bitty space buildings, I guess, uh, maybe a capital, there's like, three, I see three big ones, is there a blue big one? Hmm, I don't know, I don't see a, a big blue one, so I don't know how that works, if that's a player color, who knows, I will find out soon enough hopefully and then we've all oh there's some ziploc bags in here that's nice that way we can bag everything up into however it needs to be and I can see right now that this is going to be hard to open not oh wait it may not be as bad they have this conveniently opened circle right there in the back I don't know how let's see come on trusty glam ring help me out if I can just get it under there this should be easy there we go okay back in business Okay, Alien Frontiers. Okay, it's not a ton of cards. We see the back of it. Uh, oh, there's one here. I don't know what that is. Victory Orbit. The people of Planet Maxwell have united under your leadership. The Orbital Authority has granted clearance for the residential rocket to make a victory orbit of the planet. Congratulations! When you win the game, have your picture taken with the back of this card and announce your triumph on social media. Well, that's kind of cute. Huh, interesting. Okay, but apart, so anyway, we've got all these cards. Let's see, we have polarity device, 
two of those, booster pod, we've got stasis beam, data crystal, pla there's two of each card it looks like, orbital teleporter, holographic decoy, gravity manipulator, uh, temporal warper, resource cache, alien city, oh there's only one of those, alien monument, one of those, mind control helmet, two of those. Okay, well, I don't want to have a clue really how to play other than dice. Uh, you, I guess you use them on the board and everything. Looking forward to trying it, see what all the hype's about, and I will hopefully be able to let you know what I think of this new edition. I won't be able to compare it to the old one because I never played the old one, but hey, I'm sure it's got to be fairly similar, and if it's as good as people say, I think it'll be a, a hit. So anyway, I will look forward to seeing you in the future, and on that review especially. If you liked it, I'd appreciate it if you give me a uh, thumbs up or subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks a lot. See you then. Bye.